But the lads, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. This is your player ratings Arsenal 2, Bayern 2 at the Emirates Stadium. Not the best result, but of course, Arsenal did manage to maneuver a point or actually managed to uh, get a draw, which means that the game at the Allianz Arena is now to do um, or die. It said do or die. And also, it means that Arsenal got into that game without any deficit. Uh, which I really like as well because I don't you don't want to go to the Allianz Arena with um uh, you know trailing it by goal to nail was that a penalty talk to me in the comment box below we didn't get enough time to talk about it this morning but talk to me is it a penalty or is it not a penalty for you on Bukayo Saka and where was the weakness in that Arsenal team I would love to know your thoughts and opinions right there in the comment box below so David Dreyer for me five out of ten and not because he had a very bad game but because that one mistake brings back Bayern into the game and and, and 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 listen I said this in the how to beat Bayern video and I really really love the fact that most of you have watched these videos because you know what I'm talking about I said don't allow Bayern to get any uh, any any chances they have not worked for why because they're a quality side they will create their own chances they will score their own goals they will create their own opportunities and we saw that in the second half as Jamal Musiala lays it off for Kingsley Coleman Kingsley Coleman not makes Raya and that ball hits the back of the post that should have been into the back of the net so they will always create their own chances Harry Kane magnificent on the evening I don't think he was really really good but I thought um, he's stepped up when he needed to leon goreska again very good so for me david dryer when that ball is played f you know from the bayern half into our own half you've got to be further than that why are you on the same line as your center backs why are you on the same line as as gabriel and saliba what is it why and why are you not a little bit further back so that you can provide them with that passing option and for me, that was a massive mistake. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know what he was doing there. And again, I don't want to criticize him because he's a good goalkeeper and he has put us through very, very difficult situations. But I don't like that. I really didn't like that. So five out of ten for David Dreyer. Otherwise, the rest of the game, I thought he was. Um, it was pretty much academic uh, what he was doing Jakub Kivio three out of ten or we could say one or two out of ten depending on how impressed or unimpressed you are uh, with Jakub Kivio on the afternoon or in the evening I, I don't know Jakub Kivio how does Leroy Sané spin you like that and you don't bring him down that is one of the instances we've just considered right we've just considered that is one of the periods where you 100 percent guaranteed allowed to have and get a yellow card and also think about this your Jakub kivio there is a tomiyasu that can back you up if you cannot uh play the next game there is a an alexander zichenko get that damn yellow card get that yellow card don't allow Leroy Sané to spin you like that and that is the reason as to why he played Jakub Kivio over Alexander Zichenko in the first half and I thought it was brilliant for Mikel Arteta and anyone who's blaming Mikel for playing Jakub Kivio in that game you're absolutely not in your senses because Jakub Kivio has been really really um good I would say outstanding as at left back and I think Mikel Arteta plays him in that game off of the performance that he had in the FC Porto uh you know uh, uh second leg because he was remarkably really really good so for me Jakub give you three out of ten there is no way you're allowing to be spin like that on the first goal it is not on Jakub Kivio. That is on Raya and that is on Gabriel Magalhaes. Because if you know you're going against a hurricane and there is no support for hurricane, why don't you put that ball in a throw-in and allow your players to come back? Why don't you put that ball out for a throw-in? So if it's, the first goal is not on Jakub Kivio. The second one surely is on Jakub Kivio. I, I don't understand how you are brought onto the pitch to uh, keep Leroy Sane quiet. And he spins you like that and you just let him go you cannot do that uh, benjamin white seven out of ten this lad missed a big chance really a big chance but don't focus on that focus on two things with ben white what is he doing there right his positioning in that game absolutely fantastic look at the assist for bukayo saka fantastic and throughout the game i, I tell you this throughout the game apart from the uh, jamal musiala assist maybe not assist but you know big chance that he created for a uh, kingsley coleman 
uh, uh, towards the end of the game, he was pretty much comfortable. He dealt very well with uh, Jamal Musiala. He dealt very well with the likes of Serge Nabry. Although, I thought he would have done better tracking the run of Serge Nabry on the first goal, right? He should have done better. Because you know, Serge Nabry is looking to run into the middle of the penalty area. And that is your focus. That is your man. Run with him and don't allow it don't allow it i think he, he dives prematurely and that allows uh you know Serge Nabry a split second to put that into the back of the net so it was kind of um you know a game of two sides for uh ben white double-edged sword defensively i thought he was good but that such Nabry uh, moment did actually bring it out very well but offensively brilliant if he scores that second goal all right, if he scores that chance and it becomes 2 0 for Arsenal, I wonder what could have been. Re I really, really wonder what could have been. But listen, Ben White, 7 out of 10, best defender on that pitch by far until Alexander Zienko was introduced. William Saliba, 2 out of 10. 2 out of 10 for Willow, 2 out of 10 for Willow, 2 out of 10 for Willow. And I tell you, William Saliba is my boy. And when I'm judging him, and when I'm marking him, I'm rating him out of 10, I do not rate him like any other player. Because for, for him, he is my boy, right? When he does well, we give him the 10, 10 out of 10. When he does poorly, we give him the 0. We give him the 1 out of 10. But today I'll give him a 2 out of 10. I think William Saliba, in a long time, has not dealt with um, a high-class centre uh, forward like Harry Kane. He has not dealt with pace like uh, Leroy Sane. He has not dealt with quality like Serge Nabry. My boys, Gabriel and Saliba, were absolutely cooked and exploited and exposed yesterday. And for me, with William Saliba, the thing, uh, it's going to be about his development uh, because he really bounces back from the era very, very well. But we, if, you're, if, if you are Saliba, you've got to laugh at yourself. Why? he's nowhere near the ball he's nowhere near the ball number one and number two he's not aware of benjamin white who is going to stop Leroy Sane because Sane has run and run and run he's getting tired and he has taken a, a touch heavy you know he's, ta he's taken a touch too heavy and that ball is going to be cleared or is going to be uh, dealt with by ben white but saliba doesn't have the awareness you know at that particular moment he doesn't have the awareness that is number one and number two his body language his body language did you see that like he's he's so cold and then he's like i'll just stick a foot in there it's gonna be a pain bro two out of ten gabriel Magales, first goal this is on you yeah this is on you you have been our best center back for the whole season you have been the best center back arsenal have seen for the whole season how dare you how dare you let us down like that and 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 for me what i don't understand about gabriel Magales in the first goal right for Bayern, yes raya is out of um you know out of uh, off his line and right is too close but he's still got three four options right he can put it out in a th for, for a throw in he can pump it up uh, the pitch, high up the pitch right those are two options that are very safe Option number three, he could have risked it. He could have risked it playing into David Dreyer, who was, you know, backpedaling. Because you know David Dreyer has got the quality to deal with that ball, right? You know you can play it into David Dreyer, and David Dreyer is easily going to, you know, channel it over to William Saliba down. It was awful. And then the second goal, right? The second goal. Kivios tries to stop Sane fails. Georgina tries to stop Sane fails. And look at that Gabriel um, tackle. It is a half tackle. He tries to, to, to put a foot in there. He's like, uh oh, no, I'm not going to put it in. He doesn't commit. And he puts William Saliba into trouble again. Uh, for me, Gabriel 2, Sab Saliba 2. Bad performances. Georgina, Georgina is 7. Georgina is 7 out of 10. Because I thought Georgina did what he was supposed to do. And the mistake here for me is from Mikel Arteta. When I was doing the preview and the starting 11, I said, this is a Thomas Partey game. Why? Energy, 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 energy. Leon, Leon Goreska, energy. Conrad Lima, energy. Joshua Kimmich, energy. Alfonso Davis, energy. 
it's a game of energy, energy, energy. And, and, and he doesn't really recognize that. Now, I think that you know, plays in this game because of his experience, because of his form, and because of his understanding of the game, right? And I thought that was spot on from Mikel Arteta. But Pate wins you this game. I'm sorry, Mikel. I'm sorry, Mikel. Pate wins you this game. Because with Pate, Declan Rice is not as deep as he is, and Odegaard is not as deep as he is, and therefore it means that on the offensive, Arsenal have more numbers, right? As simple as that. It's at the Emirates Stadium. Play Thomas Pate. For me. It should have been Pate. 7 out of 10 from Jorginho. I thought he did the things he had to do right. Apart from that um, failed attempt to win the ball back. Uh, but at, at times I kind of felt like Declan Rice was isolated. Especially on the break. Because he doesn't have the energy. Jorginho doesn't have the energy. doesn't have the legs to chase over Goreska, car. To chase over, uh, you know, Conrad Lima. To chase over Sisane. To chase over these guys. He doesn't have the legs. He really, really doesn't. Right? Um, Declan Rice, 6.5 out of 10. That was one of the um, uninspiring performances from him. And I think he was, uh, he was one of the players that played the occasion instead of the game. And I think this really, really happens um, a lot of the time. Right? This really, really happens a lot of the time. So, Declan Rice, 6.5 out of 10. I thought this, uh, the first goal, he could have done better. If he drops into the back three... Right, it, it, the back two to form a back three with Saliba and Gabriel. Leon, Leon Goreska doesn't blindside him. And I tell you, um, Leon Goreska yesterday, that bastard, was absolutely impeccable. Martin Odegaard, nine out of ten. I'm not going to say anything on him. He's um, he was remarkable. Nine out of ten. Kai Havers, seven out of ten. Nothing really uh, for him to do, but he had assisted Gabriel, you know, Ben White. That would have been a, a, a cracker there, right? Saka, 9 out of 10. Best performance we have seen from him uh, in a very long time. Martinelli, 2 out of 10. Didn't see anything from him. Alexander Zchenko, 8 out of 10. When he came on, Arsenal had more control and hence the goal. Trossard scores, 8 out of 10. Gabriel Jesus, 8.5 out of 10. He was remarkable. Now, Mikel Arteta... Mikel Arteta... Um, 7.5 out of 10, right? 7.5 out of 10. He failed to take advantage of the home advantage that he had, but also he failed to take advantage of the home crowd, right? Go and be brave. Play party and Declan Rice and allow Declan Rice to be a little bit further high up the pitch. We, we gave Bayern a reason to be comfortable because Jakub Kivio doesn't trouble anyone at the, or, or, on the, on the right-hand side of the defense of Bayern and Declan Rice being deep, Jorginho doesn't really trouble um, you know, Conrad, Lime, Conrad Lima and, and, uh, and Leon Goreska. We gave away the ball. We gave away the game. So 7.5 out of 10 for Mikel Arteta. The referee... I, I, I want to be... I, I, look, he, he had a howler, really. But he also had a good game. So I'll give him a 6 for 6.5 out of 10. Because the referee for me, he looks into that soccer incident and he's like, You've, you're keeping your leg there, looking for contact, right? In the last kick of the game. What do you expect me to do? So, yeah, credit to him there. The penalties that he gave, the penalty that he gave against Bayern, if I were me, I would give that, right? I would give that. There were times where I thought he was um, a little bit immature in that game. Uh, maybe, right? But I'll, I'll, we'll just move on. Let's focus on the next one. I'll be doing the five things we learned and we re we'll be reacting to Mikel Arteta's press conference right here. Obviously, do check out the Kosi Asno podcast for lots of your interesting com content.